U.S. security and intelligence chiefs have pledged to protect democracy in a rare united appearance at a media briefing in the White House. They attempted to reassure the American public that they're actively working to protect the upcoming November midterm elections to Congress from foreign interference. Predictably, Russia was named as the main threat without, again, any evidence being provided. Our democracy itself is in the crosshairs. Pain by Russia to try to weaken and divide the United States. This threat is not going away. To prevent foreign interference in our elections. To prevent uh, Russian and other foreign influence. And the Russians try to hack into and steal information from candidates and government officials alike. Cyber attacks against voting infrastructure along with computer intrusions. Malicious cyber actors targeting elected officials. It goes beyond the elections. It goes to Russia's intent to undermine our democratic values. We've heard the head of the NSA come out and say that the U.S. government is prepared to engage in uh, special operations to counter Russian influence in the upcoming elections. Um, now, Dan Coates, the director of national intelligence, he was pressed to give specifics related to allegations regarding hacking and, and other specific allegations about somehow Russia possibly influencing the election. Uh, this is how he responded. Can you give us a better sense of who specifically has been targeted. We know at least two senators have said that they've been uh, targeted uh, by hacking or by people impersonating government officials. Is it members of the Senate, members of the House? Is it Democratic and Republican campaigns? Uh, we follow a procedure that's been agreed on uh, uh, some time ago in terms of it, when we receive this type of information, it is processed uh, through the leadership uh, of the respective House or uh, chamber, uh, Senate chamber, uh, and then disseminated down to the uh, individual member who was, who was targeted. Uh, so we have taken that action that is in place, but I'm not in a position right now to uh, release those names. These allegations that we recently heard are not that different than what we've really heard many times since the 2016 presidential election, especially in the last few months. Uh, Russia is accused of somehow influencing the minds of American people via social media. Um, however, as these allegations are being leveled, uh, not a lot of evidence is really being presented to back them up. This is new rhetoric, and actually it doesn't seem to be based in reality, I have to say. They're going to blame Russia for whatever happens in the November elections, whatever goes wrong, whatever problems we have. It's Russia's fault. There are no racial divisions. There's no uh, inequality of income. There are no problems in this country except the ones that are made by Russia. This is ridiculous what's going on here. Uh, they have to use something to deflect criticism from their own um, rulers, their own rulership. This is uh, absolutely getting out of control right now. I have not seen it like this before, and it's getting more and more dangerous when you think of the relations between two superpowers. They don't want better relations with Russia. They they want to push this line, and the, yes, there's a war between Trump and his intelligence. Well, simultaneously with the announcement, Congress also introduced its own aggressive measures against Russia with a new bill. It calls for the Secretary of State to assess whether Russia is a state sponsor of terrorism. It also calls for creating a new fusion center, which is set to respond to hybrid threats from Russia. Among those provisions, the law requires at least a two-third vote on any attempt to leave NATO. Political commentator Lou Rockwell told us the objective, he thinks, is to forge a united front against Moscow. They want to get everybody on board. You, you saw that they had all the, the heads of all the various agencies, and they want to get every uh, interest group. Uh, they have the, you know, the military, the entire military-industrial complex, the security complex, all there uh, waving the bloody shirt. They produced zero evidence. And... Um, that's, you know, that's been true all along about the so-called Russian interference, Russian collusion, all that stuff. They want to get everybody together. They want to scare the American people. 